my people hope everybody's having themselves a fine friday uh, do me a favor hit that like button down there it's in that bottom corner on the left there and if you do you'll automatically be entered to win yourself a roll of duct tape brand new because if you can't duck it fuck it make sure you guys check out dnkknives.com for all your knife order needs and if uh, you do buy something from there you can use this coupon code behind the edge 10 and you will find yourself getting 10 percent off um make sure you subscribe uh, there's a link to patreon in the description if you're interested in that um, and there's a link to DNK knives in the description as well. Um, also the Patreon giveaway is complete. Uh, I have not, um, drawn the names yet, but I will do that, uh, probably tomorrow. Um, so be ready for that, uh, to all my patrons. And, and I don't want to thank all my patrons. Thank you guys very much. Uh, today I got a couple new knives. Um, this is not one of them, but I did... Get some scales for this one. Some uh, titanium, flatanium scales. So I tried to sell this knife, and nobody. I tried to give it away, basically, hundred bucks. Try to sell it for hundred bucks. Nobody bit. Nobody jumped on it. So I'm just gonna. So I ordered some scales for it. Uh, these are the Lotus scales from Flatanium, and they are pretty nice. Uh, so it's gonna look roughly like that, but with uh, all black hardware, black liners. It's gonna be pretty cool. Um, the knife itself is okay. It's it's not the not my favorite. It's a little small. Um, so I'll probably just you know I got a clip for it from a lynch clip for it that's black. I'll put the scales on it, and I'll probably eventually give it away on Patreon or something. Um, so I'll uh, show it again once I have the scales on it. I'm not going to do that on camera, but I like to, you know, I, I think the, the titanium is going to make this knife just far and away better, in my opinion. Um, next knife, we got a Ritter Hogue. Um, this has a real long name. It's the, it's the Ritter Hogue RSK... VW Elemental P uh, Mach 2.12,040. 2, yeah, pretty sure that's what it is. Um, this one has purple scales, which I absolutely hate. But I wanted the uh, stonewashed blade, and that's the only one they had in the full size with the stonewashed blade. But you can get a crap ton of different scales for this knife. Um... This knife looks familiar to a lot of you. That's because uh, Doug Ritters, who uh, designed the um, Benchmade Griptilian. But this knife is far and away better than your stock Griptilian. And by, by leaps and bounds. Um, you get a 20 CV blade instead of an S30V. You get a deep carry pocket clip. Uh, you get the same axis lock, which again isn't my favorite. Hardware is better, thumb studs are better, knife is better, and it's still American made. Um, you have G10 contoured scales, which feel great. I just don't like purple because, you know, purple. Not my jam. But I wanted to get one of these knives uh, because it's an absolute classic. And uh, it's a great work knife, great knife in general. So I am going to get some titanium scales for that one as well. So uh, we'll be looking for that one in the future also. And last but not least, absolutely not least, this is the one I've been waiting for. And I'm very surprised I got my hands on it. Because these sell out faster than Hinderer. This is the Spyderco Shaman and 15V. Uh... 15V is one of those steels that uh, is made out of uh, tornado hurricanes and uh, it's forged in a volcano on Mars. Um, it's some pretty incredible stuff. So my current favorite blade steel is K390. And I use the absolute crap out of this knife as y'all can see. Um, but, in theory, 15V is supposed to be much better. I do not know that because I have no 
Um, I've never had any 15B yet. Usually 15B, or used to be, you could only get it in custom knives because it's just, it's really rare, it's hard to get a hold of, and it is um, very, very hard to work with. For grinding, uh, just in general, sharpening. Um, so I'm super excited about it. You know, I'm all about uh, edge retention and toughness. And I, I just don't, didn't think it could get any better in K390 because the edge retention and your fine edge, uh, your front end sharpness holding ability with K390 is perfection. It will hold an edge, but it'll hold a fine edge forever. And I love that. And it's uh, not something that you see very often. Uh, I don't care about um, it not being stainless. That means nothing at all to me. I do live in a humid environment, but I still don't care. Um, 15B is also a tool steel that is not going to be um, very rust preventative at all. It does have a decent... Uh, Nice stone wash finish on it. I like that. Um, also, I've had many shamans, but this one has probably the best action of any out the box I've ever had. Um, it's quite good. I will probably put scales on this one as well. I will absolutely put a clip on it. So I uh, look forward to seeing that. But I really want to put it up against the K390. I want to see how well it performs. Um, because if it's better than the K390, then it, it literally makes K390 obsolete. Which is kind of crazy to say, in my opinion. Like, to me, MagnaCut has made 20CV, M390, and uh, 204P. It's made them steels pretty much obsolete. Uh, you still have a place for S30V and S35VN because of the nature of the toughness in those steels compared to the 20 CV and M390, but 15V is uh, supposed to be some astonishingly good steel. Uh, quite tough with edge retention uh, that will blow your mind. So we will see. I'm going to work. I'm going to use this knife immediately. It's going right in my pocket, and I'm going to start working with it. And I'm going to take it to work every day, and then I'm going to try to do some cut testing with it up against the K390. And hell, why not? We'll put it up against some 20 CV as well. So that's what we got today, guys. That's all I got for you today. Make sure you like, subscribe, check out Patreon, check out DNK if, you, if, if you're looking for a knife. Um, I will run the Patreon giveaway tomorrow, and uh, we'll see what else we got. Thank you guys for uh, watching. Uh, make sure you're nice to each other, love each other, take care of each other. Um, nobody likes a cunt, so don't be one. Later.